Hey what's up guys and welcome to another China phone review and today we'll take a look at the number one S6 which is a clone from the real Galaxy S4. So before we open up the box let me tell you something about the specs of the phone. So the number one S6 comes with a quad core MT6589 TCPU running at 1.5 GHz. We have 1 GB of RAM and 4 GB of ROM on board and a 5 inch display at a resolution of 1280 x 720 pixels, a 13 megapixel spec camera. Android 4.2 Jelly Bean and the original S4 dimensions. Ok, so that were the basic informations about the phone and now let's take a look at the box. So the number one S6 comes in a white box with the number one logo on the top and it does not come in a real Samsung Galaxy S4 box like other clones, so now let us open it up. Ok, so here on the top we should have the phone, so let's get it out of the air buffer. And the phone always comes pretty well packaged, so you don't have to worry that it breaks during the shipping. And now let's get it out of this bag here. And as you can see on the first look it looks pretty equal to the S4 but we don't have any Samsung logos on it. And also here on the back side we don't have a Samsung logo, we have the number one logo. But now let's put it beside and let's check out the other accessories we got in the box. Then further here we get a free screen protector, so this fits the fake one and the original one so there's no difference in the screen protector. Then further in the box there should be a battery, a charger and a user manual, so let's open it up. And there we go. And the first thing here on the top is the user manual. Um, it is pretty useless because there are just a few pages in different languages and you won't need this at all. And also in the box there is a headset included and it is really funny because the headset doesn't look like the Galaxy S headset. It looks like the Apple headset which you get when you purchase a iPhone 4 or 4S. And here we have a more detailed look on the headset and as you can see this really looks like an Apple headset. You can use it to call people or listening to music but don't expect too much from this headset. I think this is just one cheap one. Ok then let's see what other things are here in the box and further in the box we have a charging cable and this should be a micro USB charging cable just like on the real one. And um, as you can see the real one looks a little bit different but you can use any micro USB cable you want to and there should be no quality difference to the real one. And then there's also a charger included, so now let's compare it with the real one. And as you can see they look pretty equal, but um, the fake charger is just a little bit smaller, but it outputs the same amount of power and it's also a little bit thinner and it doesn't have any Samsung printing on it. But except of this, um, they should be really equal. And last but not least we have a battery in the box and this should have the same dimensions like the real one and you can also um, exchange it with the real one, but now let us take a closer look at it. And here we can see um, that the capacity of the battery is 2600 milliamp hours. And the original battery should have the same capacity, but um, the fake one drains less power, so you can expect the same battery lifetime. And number one has a good reputation, so they use good batteries, but the fake battery won't have NFC support. So that was everything which is in the box, and now let us take a closer look at the outside of the real one and the fake one. And here on the first look you can see that you don't have any logos on the fake one, and the real one has a much darker display. This is because the real one uses a OLED display and the fake one uses a IPS display. Now let us compare the top side of both phones. Um, so let's start with the front camera, which is here on the real one. One and here on the fake one. So as you can see they are exactly on the same spot. So you can use protector cases of the real one without any problem. And here we have the RGB light sensor on the real one which is exactly on the same spot on the fake one. On the opposite side we also have a gesture sensor and a proximity sensor. And the proximity sensor is working really nice on the fake one, but I don't think that the gesture sensor is working. And here in the middle we have the speaker, and the call quality on the fake one is really good, but it is not that loud like on the real Galaxy S4. Now here on the bottom side we can see both home buttons, and they look pretty equal, but the home button of the fake one seems to be a little bit bigger. And it also looks a little bit brighter because there's a foil on the home button, but um, they have almost the same color. And now let's quickly compare the back side of both phones. So on the first look they look pretty equal, but you don't have a Samsung logo on the fake one. But if you want to have the logo on it, you could use the original back cover and it fits without any problem. But except of this, both back covers have exactly the same color and also the same pattern.
Now here we have a closer look at the back side and here we can see both back cameras, we can see the LED flash and the logo. And as you can see, um, the left back camera of the fake one um, looks a little bit different than the real one and it seems to be a little bit higher. Then here we have the LED flash on the left side which is um, more yellow than the right one and it's, it is also not that bright like the fake one. And um, as I said, here on the right one we have the Samsung logo and here on the fake one the number one logo. But on all other sides both phones look completely equal. So here we can see the side which contains the volume up and volume down key. Then here on the opposite side we can see the power button and this little gap to remove the back cover. Now here on the top we can see the headphone jack, the microphone and the IR LED. And also here on the bottom we have the micro USB connector and another little microphone. But you can see the main difference when you remove the back cover. So on the real one we have one SIM card slot and one micro SD card slot. Whilst the fake one has two SIM card slots and one micro SD card slot. Here we can see SIM card slot 1 which supports WCDMA and GSM. Here we have a micro SD card bay and here we have SIM 2 which only supports GSM. And also one really huge difference is that you don't have those contacts on the fake one which you have here on the real one. And those little contacts are for wireless charging, so the fake one cannot be charged wireless. And here on the fake one we also have a little guarantee seal. So number one is a famous company in China and makes good clones, so expect a working and good phone. And when we go a little bit down the phone we can see both batteries. And now let's try to get both batteries out and then switch them. So this is the fake battery. And here comes the real one. And now under the battery we can also see that the fake one has two EMA numbers. This is because we have two SIM card slots and also we have another warranty seal. So this um, device is made in November 2013 so it is pretty new. And now let's try to switch both batteries. So there we go. Let's put the real one into the fake one. And it fits. And now let's try to put the fake battery in my real Galaxy S4. So there we go. And it also fits. Now it's really interesting to know if the back cover fits because um, on some other um, Galaxy S4 clones like on the HTC Spark the back cover of the real one did not fit because the battery was too thick. But um, the fake cover here fits perfectly here on my real Samsung Galaxy S4. And now let's try to put the real cover on my fake Galaxy S4 with the real battery. Okay so here comes the fake cover. And um, I think it also fits, so there we go. Okay, um, it feels a little bit tougher, but it closes and it works. So um, you can use the real battery and the real back cover without any problem. Now here comes one really exciting test. So which S4 will boot faster? Now I will try to press the power button exactly at the same time at both devices. And there we go, so they should boot right now. Okay, so on the fake one we don't have a Samsung Galaxy S4 boot screen and we also have a different boot animation, so it's the number one boot animation and no Samsung boot animation. Also we can see that the LED on the left top corner is lighting up on both devices and now let's just wait until they have booted. Okay, so the number one S6 is a little bit faster, but I think this is because the ROM is brand new and I don't have any apps installed. So you can expect the same boot time like on the real Samsung Galaxy S4. So there we go, and we're now on the home screen of the number one S6. And as you can see, this looks completely equal to the real Samsung Galaxy S4. So here we have um, the clock, we have the apps. Here on the bottom we have the short keys and swiping through the menu feels really smooth. This is due to the fast quad-core processor and as you can see also air gestures are working here in the home screen. Now before we take a look at the settings let's take a look at the status bar here on the top. So here you can adjust the brightness of your display. We also have here Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, data connection, we have airplane mode. Then further we can scroll here to the right where we have timeout, auto rotation, we have multi windows which is not working, we have air gesture, smart pause which I think is also not working and we also have some other stuff like sound profiles for general, silent and outdoor. And here you have a overview over all the settings and now we can press at this little gear here on the top to access the settings of the phone. 
Here in the settings, let's go to more and about the phone, where we can find some basic information about the phone, so there we go. And here we can see that the model number is number 1S6 and that it is running Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean, and also some custom ROMs available, which bring the phone to Android 4.3. And when we go back to the main menu, we can see that it looks completely equal to the real Samsung Galaxy S4. And I've just pre-installed some apps which we will need for testing later. And now let's take a look at widgets. So you can also place widgets on the home screen of a device just like on the real one. There are the same widgets available and as you can see you can easily place them here on any page of your home screen. The only bad thing is that multi-window is not working here on this device. We have this funny sidebar here on the left top corner. But this is just a sidebar and this has no multi-window function because if you drag any app in then it just opens the app and it does not split the screen. So let's try this here with the camera app and there we go. And as you can see it just opens the app but it does not split the screen. And if you want to remove a widget all you have to do is just tap it, hold it and move it to the recycle bin. Yeah so basically that was everything here from the main menu and from the apps. And um, now let us take a look at the Google Play Store. So as you may know, this is a full Android device. That means you have full access to the Google Play Store. All you need is just a Google account and then you can download and install any app you want to. And just to show you that it works, let's try to install a free app here from the App Store. So here on the top, we have top three. And number one is WhatsApp, which is also working here with this device. It is also working with the dual SIM function. And to install it, just tap it install, accept, and there you go. And the app is downloading and installing. And as you may know, many China devices don't come with Google apps pre-installed or they have some Chinese apps in the background or in the ROM. But um, this phone is really clean. I haven't found any Chinese app. And also it comes with all necessary Google apps pre-installed like the App Store here. Okay, so now um, it is installing the WhatsApp Messenger and as you can see this works here pretty well. Also this is the latest version of the Google Play Store and not some Chinese Play Store. And now WhatsApp is installed as you can see here in the menu. And now let us take a closer look at the settings of the phone. And therefore we'll go back to the main menu and in the main menu we can go to connections. And here we have um, several things, we have SIM management for dual SIM, we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage and more. And first let us take a closer look at the Wi-Fi function. So let's enable Wi-Fi and now we'll take a look at the Wi-Fi connection and let's see if it can find my home network. And yes, it finds my home network and I get a decent signal. So it's just like on my real Samsung Galaxy S4. So I'm now in the basement and the router is um, in the first floor. So this is pretty good and it has a great Wi-Fi connection. So now let's go back to the main menu. And here we also have Bluetooth, which is also working very well here on this device. And then here further we have data usage and more. And let's tap it more. So here we can see um, a few other functions. So here we have airplane mode, VPN, tethering and portable hotspot, and mobile networks, and also USB internet if you want to share your internet connection of the phone, for instance, with your notebook. Then here in the My Device you can edit some personal settings like the wallpaper for the home screen, lock screen or both. And you can pick some wallpapers here from the wallpaper collection. And those wallpapers are the same wallpapers like you have on the real Samsung Galaxy S4. So it is setting the wallpaper here right now, but you can also choose a wallpaper from the gallery. And down here we have the capacitive buttons for the menu and the back button, and they also light up just like on the real one. We also have a LED indicator, which is um, the LED here on the left top corner, which shows up when you charge your phone, when it has low battery or you have missed an event. Now we come to one very exciting part, motion control. So here we have the motion settings and here we have settings for air gesture, air bros, air launch accept, air call accept. We also have your motion settings like direct call, shake to update and turn over to mute and pause. I couldn't get all the air gestures to work but the motion um, things here on the bottom are working and also air gesture is working in the gallery and in the main menu but all other things like smart stay is not working. Then here we have the display so here you can personalize the lock screen and adjust the brightness and here we also have language and input and here you can set your phone to any language you want to so by default it comes in the language where you have purchased it so ccctshop.com um, offers many languages 
languages and you can set it to every language you want to. A few things maybe remain in English and also the same goes for the keyboard so you can set it really to any language you want to. Here you can add Google accounts for the Google Play Store but you can also add a WhatsApp account, Skype account, corporate account, so anything you want to. And also we have a backup and reset option just like on the real one. And here under more and security you can choose a different lock screen and we also have here unknown sources so if you want to install APK files it is also possible here on this device. And just to show you that it does not come with Chinese spyware, I will go to apps. And here under apps we can see which apps I have downloaded. And here under phone storage we can see which apps are installed to the phone storage. And now you can see all processes which are running right now. And here we just see the normal Android processors, the media text settings and digital clocks. So there's no suspicious software running in the background. And also if we go to all here on the right side, we can see all the apps which are currently installed to the phone. And um, here you can also see that there is no Chinese malware installed to this phone. Okay, then now let's go back to the main menu and check out the battery. So here we can see the battery stats and currently the real um, Galaxy S4 battery is in. And as you can see, we have 80% and it's now um, 30 minutes on battery. So you can expect a very good battery lifetime. Here we can take a look at storage. So the internal storage um, is something which is not really good. We only have um, one gigabyte plus about two gigabytes. So you don't have more than three gigabytes of internal storage, but you can upgrade it with SD cards up to 32 gigabytes. So um, this is pretty good that you can add a SD card, but the internal storage is not really good. Then further in the settings, we have date and time, scheduled power on and off and accessibility and about the phone. So this is where we were before. So now we went through all of the settings here. And now let's go back to the main menu of the device and let's take a look at the phone app, at the contacts app and the message app. It comes with the normal phone app, which you also have on the real Samsung Galaxy S4. So this looks completely equal and you won't spot the difference here. Also the call quality is quite good. So let's try to um, just call a number. And as you can see, this is also working here pretty well in my country. Just double check the frequencies if it works in your country. I'm not sure if it is working everywhere in the world. Then here we have a call log. So just like on the real one, favorites and contacts, which is also working. Now I want to show you how the messaging app and the Android keyboard looks like. So there we go. Let's write a new message. And here we just enter the recipient and we also get here suggestions from the contacts. And as you can see, the Android keyboard works really smooth, fast and without any lags. And also multi-touch is working really nice here on this keyboard. Okay, so we're now back in the main menu and now let's take a closer look at the next important app, which is the camera. And the camera is not as good like on the original one, but it is quite okay. Um, it has a good resolution. I think we have um, interpolated 13 megapixels and we also have a tap autofocus. So um, you can tap on the screen and then it tries to focus the point where you have tapped on. And here in this app, you can also record videos if you want to. And I will later do another video where I can see a full comparison of the camera to my real Samsung Galaxy S4. But just to save a little bit time, I will skip this here right now. So let's go back to the main menu and check out the other apps. We have a video player to play back full HD movies. We have a gallery, settings, we have a file manager, a clock, we have email, a sound recorder, a calculator and a browser. So let's take a look at it. So by default, the start page of the browser is set to Google China. So you have to replace it if you want to. And now let's try to play back a full HD YouTube movie because some older devices had problems with the full HD playback and it was really laggy and also sometimes crashed the browser. So let's try this here on this one. And there we go, youtube.com. And let's just search for full HD movie. And there we go. And now let's just pick one of the movies here out of the list. Okay, so let's take this one here. And now it is loading. Oh, and I just forgot to activate um, auto rotation, which you can find here on the top in the status bar. Um, okay, it should be here on the left. Oh yeah, it's here, auto rotation. And there we go. And now let's watch this YouTube movie here. 
And as you can see, the movie playback is really smooth and not laggy at all, even if you watch a full HD movie. And also the sound quality sounds really good and I think the speaker comes pretty close to the original Galaxy S4 speaker. And now let's go back to the main menu and let's check out the other apps which are on the phone. So there we go. And here we have apps. So here further we have a calendar, a FM radio, the Play Store, Backup and Restore, Downloads and a Movie Studio. Also here on the second page we have some other apps which I have downloaded for testing purposes. And now you will see some performance benchmarks of the phone like a Antutu test, a multi-touch test, a sensor test and a speed and gameplay test. And at the end of the video there will be my conclusion.
Okay guys, so we're now at the end of this review, I hope you enjoyed it and now here comes my conclusion. So the number one S6 is a very good clone of the real S4, it's more stable and also faster than the HTC S4 legend and also retails for a good price. The only negative thing so far, low internal storage, the speaker for calls could be a little bit louder, smart stay and multi window is not working, but this can be fixed with the Manuxa ROM. All in all, I'm very satisfied with this clone and I bought it from cctshop.com. They ship worldwide, have really nice prices and a good support. Also stay tuned for my comparison video to my real S4 for more details. And as always a link to the product is in the description, so if you're interested be sure to check it out. And if you have any questions just feel free to ask and leave a comment here under this video and I will try to reply as soon as possible. So as always guys, thanks for watching and I hope I see you again in my next videos. Bye guys!